of the ways that you can share a document with students. So I already have this document opened in my Google Drive. So what I'm going to do in, in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click on share. And then right now I'm the owner of this document, only I have access to this document. So I'm going to just go ahead and type in who I want to share it with here. So I'm going to share it with teacher one. And now notice on the right hand side here, it says can edit. I'm actually going to change this to can, can view. I could also change it to can, can comment, but I'm going to change it to can view. And then I'm going to share and save this document. Now by doing this, this document is now already shared in Teacher One's um, Google Docs. So I'm going to go over, I'm going to show you what that looks like real quick. So here I am in Teacher One's Google Docs. If I click on Shared With Me, you'll see that I have this document practice and I can click on it and open it up and here it is. Now I can't edit this document. If you notice when I click in here, I'm typing, I can't actually edit this document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the right and I'm going to choose File and then I'm going to choose make a copy. So copy of practice. So since I probably want to use a naming convention, I'm going to call this teacher one practice and then I'm going to choose OK. Now I have a copy of that document that I can now edit. So what's really nice about this, so see I have an idea. What's nice about this is that if you have um, a template. You could always share from a template, but if you have something that you don't want your students to change, this is a nice way to share the document with them and then they can share it back with you. So, so they could share it back with you by going up and clicking on share, but another thing that's really nice is if you create a file, let's go back into um, Teacher One's Google Drive, and I've actually um, have a file. This activity activity for story that's actually already shared with me. Let me drag, drag that up into my drive. So right over here, if I take this document, oops, sorry, that's what I shared with me. So here is my teacher one practice that I created. I can take this and I can dump that document into activity for story and then now that document is automatically shared back with me as the teacher. So let's jump back over to my Google Drive. Go back over here. Here's my activity for story folder. And here's that document that was shared by teacher one. So this is this is just a really great way to share documents back and forth.